Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a screen capture lecture video in Zoom. Uh, there's many ways to do this, I'm just going to show you the way that works for me. So the first step is to log into Zoom, which is going to be laccd.zoom.us. Next you're going to select sign in. From here you might have to sign into your uh, LACCD email, so I'm going to type it out. and then put in your password for your portal should be the same as your email password then click sign in if you get this screen you can choose no or yes it just depends if you're on a public computer i would select no now i'm in zoom and the way you can create your own recorded lecture uh, you can schedule a meeting so go to the left and select meetings and before we do that I do want to show you one thing that I'd like you to do which is to turn on the auto captions for these meetings so if that's the case you're gonna go to settings first select the recording tab then you're going to scroll down and make sure that under cloud recording you have this audio transcript checked and what will happen is you'll you'll check that box and then you're gonna click save I already had it saved so I don't need to check it just so you know this is going to provide a transcript for your recorded lecture and that's important for accessibility so now that that's set and saved I'm going to go to meetings I'm going to select schedule a new meeting. I'm going to give it a topic. I will call this chapter 12 lecture. And because I'm not actually inviting students, I'm not really going to worry about any of the other stuff. I'm just going to scroll down. And here's something else you, you might want to check. Uh, if you want to record the meeting automatically, you can check this box here. If you want to just press record when you're ready, you can leave that unchecked. For this one, I'm going to leave it unchecked. And then I'm going to select Save. So now I'm ready to start this meeting, which I'm planning on recording. I can go ahead and click Start This Meeting right now. That'll take me to this page where up at the top I have this open zoom.us that's what I'm gonna click and now I can join with my computer audio or if my computer audio is not working I can join by the phone uh, but we're gonna keep it on computer audio and I'm gonna give it a test so I'm gonna test it right now by clicking test. I do hear a ringtone, so I'm gonna click yes. That means my speakers are working. Yes, that means my speakers are working. I hear an echo of my voice, which means my microphone's working, so I'll click yes. And then join with computer audio. And then once again, join with computer audio. So now I've connected to this meeting via audio, but I also want my students to see my webcam so if it if it doesn't show up automatically you can go down and click start video there's my webcam so I'm ready to uh, be seen by my students when when they see this recording um, before I start to record I do want to get prepared so if I'm gonna show a PowerPoint at this point, I'm going to open up PowerPoint and get it ready. So I'm just going to find that PowerPoint that I need. OK, so here it is. So I'm just going to open up the PowerPoint so it's running in the background. There's my PowerPoint. I'm just going to minimize it. And then at the bottom, when I'm ready to go to the PowerPoint, I, I can just click on PowerPoint. So from here, I feel like I'm ready. I'm just going to share a PowerPoint with the students. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. 
uh, do a little introduction, and then I'm going to just record the, the lecture. So I'll let you sort of see what that would look like. I'm going to click record, and it's very important that you record to the cloud. This is going to give you a link, and more importantly, when you record to the cloud, if you have that automatic transcript uh, checked in Zoom, that's the only way that that will work, is if you record to the cloud. And basically, all that means is that uh, Zoom's going to record the meeting for me. I don't have to do anything. After the meeting's over, they will send me a link uh, that I can share in Canvas or that I can email to my students. And that link will let my students watch the recorded lecture, and it will also have the transcripts running to the right, which is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click Record to the Cloud. Hello, students. We're recording. So this is going to be our lecture on Chapter 11. And I want you to read that chapter and answer the questions at the end of the chapter. There's some uh, uh, knowledge check questions. Uh, but for now, we're going to go through the PowerPoint first. So what I'm going to do is share my screen. So I'm going to click this green share screen button here. And now I have a choice of what to share. And I'm going to just pick desktop. That's the easiest one. And then click this blue share button. Now my students can see my entire screen. So this is the part where I would introduce the PowerPoint and say, and click on the PowerPoint to bring that up. And I could run the PowerPoint. And now I can just proceed with my lecture. I also have some tools up here. So if, let's say we're, we're moving along and I wanted to emphasize uh, a certain part of a page, I can go up top and click on this annotate uh, symbol. And then I have a whole lot of different options here. I got uh, text, I got draw. Uh, this basically, when you click these, it, it gives you uh, different options. So if I wanted to put a circle around something, I could click on that draw and then select the circle. And then basically, if I hold my mouse down, I can I can make little circles over what uh, what I want my students to focus on, okay? And then when I'm done with that, I can use this eraser tool to individually erase these uh, drawings, or you can use this clear trash bin. That'll take care of everything. You also have different options here, like text. So I could uh, I could type something on on the screen and my students would see that it, it would be part of the recording so you have these tools to play around with and then uh, use in your recordings you could also if you had a white slide or a white uh, word document you could use that as a whiteboard and then draw on it with this annotation tool and the draw feature if you pick um, the little sorry if you pick the this drawing that, that lets you actually just draw. So you could work out a math problem on a, on a white background if you wanted to. So that's just a quick example of some of the tools. There's more that you can do. But basically, at this point, if you're finished with your lecture, you've gone through your slides, at this point, you can sign off and click the Stop Share up at the top. Whoops. Can't see my mouse. There we go. Let's see here. There it is. So I can click stop share, say goodbye to my students, and then click on this end meeting here. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And then when Zoom is is has processed that video to the cloud, they will actually send you an email. And that email is going to contain a link to the recording. So it's going to take a little while. It's not going to um, connect right away. If I wait, yeah, you know, it depends on how long the video is. But if I wait long enough, I will eventually get an email from Zoom that says that my recording is ready. So I'm going to show you an older email from Zoom uh, just so you can see what that looks like. So here, here is an example 
of what that email looks like. It'll be from Zoom and it says your cloud recording is available and it gives you uh, these links. One of these links is just for you to look at. You're not going to share this link. There might be some other options to download different things from there. But the one you are going to share is this link here, the one that says share recording with viewers. That's the one you're going to share with your students. So you can email that link or share it in Canvas. And basically, when the students click on that shareable link here, and I'll just copy it so you can see, when they go to that link, it's going to open up the Zoom video that was recorded, so your recorded lecture. And then on the right, you can see there's the audio transcript. And that transcript is going to run alongside the video of you talking and presenting. So it's very nice for students to refer to that transcript, especially if they have uh, a disability that they need that transcript to understand what you're saying. Uh, so there you go. That's a quick little demo of how to record a lecture in Zoom. I'm really happy with how Zoom works and how easy it is to share with that cloud recording and the transcript. So I hope you use Zoom to make your lecture recordings. Thanks for watching.